What's up guys? Welcome back to a new episode about class inheritance and PHP. Inheritance is a pretty simple concept in programming once you understand the fundamentals. What you could do with inheritance is basically creating a new class. So let's say that we create a class called person. We could give them properties such as a first name, last name, and we could also add a method called print name. So let's say that we want to create two new files called employee and manager. In our case, the person class is the base class and the employee and manager class are the child classes. And what we're basically going to do is to say to our child classes that they can inherit or we will basically grant them access to the first name, last name and print name inside the base class because we're extending from it. We will basically inherit any public or protected properties and methods from the parent and the parent is the base class. And be aware that you do not inherit any private properties or methods. So if first name and last name is private and not public or protected, we cannot use them in the child class. In addition, we could also add new unique properties or methods inside the child class that are only accessible through the child class. So our employee class extends the person class but it has two properties itself, so the department and the employee number. You will only see two right here, but it actually has four because, well, the first name and last name are pretty much ghosts. They are actually there, but you cannot see them. A child class could also have no properties and methods, as you could see in our manager class, and you will basically use the properties and methods from the base class. I actually do not recommend you to do that because you only want to create a new class if you want to add extra properties or methods. And let me show you with code how it actually works. First off, we need to create a class. So a class person, class manager, and a class employee. Then we need to add properties to the base class. So in our case, person is our base class. So let's add two properties to them, a public first name and a public last name. What we need to do next is to share them with the manager and employee. And this can be done with a keyword called extend. So we need to say class manager space extends the class that we want to extend from or inherit from. And in our case, it's person. A big advantage of using inheritance in programming is just the ability to reduce duplication. We don't need to define the property last name and address multiple times, but just once in the class person and we can use it in the manager and employee. Now let's go back to the code editor and work on some examples. In our class user, let's add two properties of public dollar sign name and public dollar sign email. If we go outside of our user class, we can create a new class. We could also create a new file, but it's up to you. I want it to be close to each other to show you what I actually am doing. So let's create a class called admin and let's go right outside of our class admin and let's initialize the class user. So let's create an object called user. Let's set it equal to new user. And let's set the user name equal to Dari. And let's set the user email equal to info at darinazar.com. Let's also echo it out. So let's say echo username concatenated from user email. And this is actually something that we did the last couple of episodes, so I won't go over it. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and my name and email are printed out on the screen. Now, when we inherit from another class, we need to specify what we want to inherit from by saying extends. So let's go right after the class admin because we want our admin class to extend the class user. So right after admin, let's write down extends space followed by the class that you want to extend. In our case, it's user. And don't forget to write down a capital because it needs to be identical to the actual class name. Now let's recap for a moment and go through the stuff that's on my screen. First off, we created a class called user and we gave it two properties. The first one was name and the second one was email. At the bottom of our screen, 
we initialize the object of class user and we call it user. Then we set our name and email equal to a value and we echo it out on the screen. What we're doing in between is creating a class called admin and we're basically saying that we want to extend the class user. So everything that's in between the opening and closing curly braces of the class user will also be available in the class admin. This could also be functions. So let's go right below our public email. Let's create a public function welcome message. Now let's return a string of have a good working day. So let's go at the bottom of our screen and let's create an, let's initialize an object of the class admin. So let's set it equal to new admin. Let's also set the name equal to John. Well, the name, excuse me. We also want to set the email equal to a value. So let's say admin email is equal to john at gmail.com. And once again, we're passing in the name and email that we created in our user class, but because we're extending in our admin class, we can use our name and email. You can see them as well ghosts inside our admin class because they are actually there, but you can't see them. Now let's go echo it out. So let's copy the previous echo. Let's change user to admin, save it, refresh the browser, and john and john at gmail.com are printed out. The problem right now is, is that the class admin is pretty useless. It does not have any extra properties or methods inside of it. So that's something you actually do need to remember. You only need to create an extra class if it's necessary. What we could do is to give our admins a level. So let's create a new property called level. So we can have an admin, super admin, and so on. And let's go right below our admin email. And let's say admin level is equal to super admin. And right after our echo, well, inside of our echo, let's concatenate one more time. And let's write down admin level. If we save it and refresh the browser, something actually went wrong on line 25 and we forgot to concatenate it, save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that our super admin is printed out on the screen. And the same thing can be done for our method. So let's echo out a break first. And right below our break, let's echo out dollar sign admin, and we want to say, well, what was the function name? Welcome message, that's what we want to print out. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and have a good working day is printed out on the screen. This was it for this episode about class inheritance, and in the next episode, I want to talk about the constructor and deconstructor. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.